A group of unionized academic workers at UCLA has initiated the second round of strikes over the University of California's response to pro-Palestinian protests. Workers represented by United Auto Workers Local 4811 had previously been striking at UC Santa Cruz as part of what the union termed the first wave of planned walkouts. The second round of strikes commenced on Tuesday at UCLA and UC Davis. In the early hours of Tuesday morning, a small contingent of workers formed a picket line on the UCLA campus, with a major rally scheduled for midday. The workers called for the strike in response to alleged free speech violations stemming from recent demonstrations, including the summoning of militarized police officers from various outside law enforcement agencies to forcibly remove and arrest peaceful protesters at UCLA, UC Irvine, and UC San Diego. They also cited unilateral changes to standards for employee discipline, free speech rights, and academic freedom, as well as disciplinary actions taken against employees involved in peaceful protests. The union's demands were met with criticism from UC officials, who filed unfair labor practice complaints, contending that the union's labor contract includes a no-strike provision and that the union's grievances extend beyond typical labor issues. Prior to the union's strike authorization vote, the University of California Office of the President released a statement expressing concerns about the potential precedent set by allowing strikes for political and social disputes, warning that such work stoppages could significantly disrupt UC's ability to fulfill its commitments to students, the community, and the state of California. UCLA's Vice Chancellor for Strategic Communications, Mary Osako, also issued a statement emphasizing the university's focus on supporting students during the crucial finals period and expressing dismay over external disruptions that hinder the learning environment. The union represents a variety of academic roles, including teaching assistants, readers, tutors, student researchers, and academic researchers. UAW Local 4811 is urging UC schools to grant amnesty to all academic employees and students facing arrest or disciplinary measures for participating in protests. Additionally, the union is advocating for guarantees of freedom of speech and political expression on campus, as well as the ability for researchers to opt out of funding sources linked to the Israeli Defense Force. Annie Valoria Winnett, an academic union representative, highlighted the minimal nature of the union's requests, emphasizing the lack of engagement from the university in addressing their concerns. To conclude the strike and resume teaching and research activities, the union demands that the university take proactive steps to acknowledge and respond to their issues. City News Service Incorporated contributed to this report.